All right, g'day guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm at the shed and I've got something that's been coming for nearly six and a half years now and dropped it off, well, probably six years now. So dropped it off in 2016 um, in Parks, New South Wales, and uh, I've finally got it here. I was gonna do a big reveal on it once it was all done, but I just think I'm gonna do it do it now and uh, show you where this build is up to. So it is the HX, the Billet RB HX. And um, yeah, so let's go over here and uh, have a look, see what we've got. I thought I'd do a full rundown of the whole car, get some proper overlay. That's why I'm not filming myself because I wanted to get all the details that's been done to this car. And we'll start off here. So the engine, single, single cam, Billet, I think it's a three, the Stroker 3.2, that's the size, of, yeah, it is the 3.2. Uh, I've got the Plasman um, inlet manifold that's just shown up probably last week. And then the new G-Series 42 with a 1.15 rear housing on it. And um, we've had a, a few issues with this. Um, it's all sort of been one thing after another. We had to go through a di couple of different changes in pistons and rods because it is the billet stroker crank that we weren't and we had and i originally had uh just standard um uh pistons and uh rods so we've changed that gone to and we've stepped it up which is um which is probably probably for for the better anyway and then also going dry sump set up now so there's something got on there is just to keep it nice and clean and tidy while we are doing this sort of stuff and then Mick's gonna finish it off and put everything else together. I've got the dry sump kit underway. That's still a few weeks away. So, um, but yeah, this is the engine. It's, uh, so bottom end's all assembled and everything like that. So we're sort of getting there slowly, but um, Adam's painted up this like he did the rest of the car. So it's, it's got the hold in there and it, and it sort of looks like it's supposed to be going in, in, uh, in this car. So here we go, I'll, I'll take this off. Try to do it in a nice, nice way anyway. Shit. <laughs> I've got a lot of cars in the shed at the moment. As you can see, there's heaps of stuff on the Monaro's out the front actually, so. But this is it. So, like I said, like nearly six years in the, in the, in the making and it is, Amazing, everything is brand new on it. Um, and uh, I couldn't be happier with it. But uh, it's been a long, long time and it sort of, it got to a point where I was just, I'd had enough of it really. And then to finally get it here, it, it's pretty next level. And you'll see once we sort of throw the overlay on that, the detail that's gone into this car is uh, pretty amazing. So I'll let the camera do all the talking and we can uh, touch base after that. All right, so one other thing is it doesn't have 
the bench seat in there yet because I'm gonna need a proper custom bench seat. So I've got Ben from Elite Trim gonna come down, hopefully, uh, probably not this week, next week, and we can sort of suss out what we're gonna have to do. I might even have to borrow another car because I don't wanna keep pulling a frame in and out of this thing to, uh, um, because it'll scratch it and I don't want anything like that to happen. So, bench seat's not in there, but everything else is in there. Roll cage even, that roll cage is not gonna come out either because I don't wanna scratch or do anything like that. So, yeah. All right guys, so that is the HX. Now, obviously six years in, in the build and I've finally got it here. I've just put the dress rings on on the wheels, so actually don't mind. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them on there or not, but that's the update on, on the HX and where we're at. And then uh, the next video will probably be a little bit more hands-on um, with trans, diff, um, more engine stuff. And uh, yeah, but, and we've got a whole box, all those boxes over there are full of all the parts and uh, spares and everything like that. So. I hope you enjoyed that. This car is going to be unbelievable, top to bottom. It's been, like I said, seven years or six years, and uh, I'm super pumped to get back into this and uh, hopefully uh, get it running by the end of the year. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.